The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is coming to the theaters pretty goddamn soon. And the trailer looks fucking awesome. Links in the description. I hope that you guys really, really uh, like the trailer because it's fucking awesome. It really is. Now that I got that out of the way, I can finally focus on the real, you know, the real stuff, the real good stuff that's happening in reality. And, oh boy, this one's a mouth. What you see here is a sign that says Jesus would stone homos, and stoning is still a law. Uh, I actually gotten this from... Gaia Online forms. Yes, the atheist gamer goes to Gaia Online. Big fucking whoop. And the guy who made who made a sign is named Pastor James James David Manning. And this guy must be the new uh, Fred Phelps because this guy pretty much just hate homosexuality. He views homosexuality as an act of evil. Uh, he views homosexuals as nothing more than a bunch of freaking demons. And guess what the end result is? Of course you're gonna receive an angry mob outside of your church. Of course you're gonna see a protest on how stupid that statement is. Of course you're going to see a group of people who want to be accepted in society so, uh, you're condemning these people who just want to live normal lives and you think that these people deserve to be stoned to death because they were born to be gay. There shouldn't be any law, any discrimination law against anyone. Not towards blacks, not towards Asians, not towards homosexuals, not towards uh, handicapped people, not towards people with beards, not towards anyone. Not even the, those who, you know, choose on which belief to follow. Um, feminists, communists, masculinists, the MRA. There should be no, and I repeat, no laws condemning people for who they are or what they are. But the real strange part is the things that he says. I mean, I expect Fred Phelps to be homophobic and also kind of racist, but this guy is sort of racist himself because he sort of compared the KKK with the gay community and he would actually consider the, the KKK to be much more, uh, how you say, more tolerant. Yes, the KKK is more tolerant towards this guy than the gay community. Wrap your head around that. I, I'll show you some of, the, some of the screenshots that I took. But what's really saddening is not the fact that this guy is against homosexuality. You know, it just, look how paranoid this guy is. If you read the article, uh, if you haven't read the article, I suggest that you re read near the end. Where this guy basically thinks that all these white gay men are out to corrupt these black men. Who, you know, serve in the military, who are homeless, who are just normal everyday people into you know turning them into gay people yeah there, there's just as many uh gay black guys as there is many white gay uh, white gay guys and even if there's like even if black gay guys are like the minority they're still it's you know still goddamn normal homosexuality is a part of nature i mean let's face it there's no straight black guy who's just gonna look at a penis one day and be like oh my god I should probably start licking that oh my god penis tastes great no no 
you need to do your research. Homosexuals, you know, people don't choose to be homosexuals. It's been proven by science. People are born gay. And it's not their freaking fault. If God didn't really like homosexuality, then maybe he would have done a better job of making sure that there would be no homosexuals. Just saying. Now take a look at this video. I, I, I um, managed to get it from the um, their YouTube channel. Yes, they have a YouTube channel. Like I said before, they have a YouTube channel. So if you want to get pissed off at these people, go to their YouTube channel and start disliking it. You know, start protesting on their on the YouTube account. So that way we would piss them off or something like that. Just saying. The protest that happened this past weekend outside of our church uh, at the 11:30 worship service. Invectives at our church and saying all kinds of ugly things and carrying all kinds of ugly signs and banners. Where there were a group of men, they are mostly unemployed. They live in this community. They're here all the time. They know me quite well. They've known me for 30 years. They've seen the work that we have done with homeless people, helping people with housing. They've seen the works we've done with people returning from prison. They've seen the schools that we've established and they watch the beautiful children come in and out of our school every day and the learning process. And they just got fed up with these homos and said something to them. And they started a, a, a ruckus between the homos and the black men who were defending me and defending the church. And it got so strong, the police had to come in and separate the two. But the black men gathered to defend me and to defend the church. And because they were ready to take down these homos attacking the church. Now, I got to say, these men don't always necessarily agree with everything I say about Obama. They don't agree with everything I say about Africa. I know that. But these men have watched me in this community for 30 solid years. They've watched me feed. They've watched me teach. They know I'm no hypocrite. I live in the community. They know I'm no rip-off artist. I'm no pinch-nosed pimp Negro. These black men, they knew that. And when they saw these homos attacking the church, first of all, they don't agree with homosexuality. They know us from the pit of hell as a demonic possession. And so they, they, they stood up for us on Saturday. And we don't have the footage because... I didn't send our camera crew out there because that would only have been provocative. They wanted me to come out and say something. But I did. the truth of the matter is I completely ignored them. I, they're just demons, that's all. But uh, on Saturday, we were victorious. And no, I ain't going nowhere. Hey, hey, ho, ho, all you homos got to go. I'm James David Manning. I'm the Lord servant. I think you guys get the picture. I am the Atheist Gamer. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Peace the game.